here. What is going on, y'all? My name's Frank KG5AHJ, and today we're going to be renewing my license. That is right. I've been licensed for amateur radio for 10 years. Wow! Where's the time gone? And it's time for me to renew my license. And before we get started, I'm just going to remind you, the new tank pads are out, and uh, you should go get one. The link's in the description below. There might be also a pop-up over there. Yeah, right there. Yeah. So first thing we're going to do is search for my license in the ULS. Um, and here we go. Here's the searching search for a license and we're going to put our call sign in here. Kilo Golf 5 Alpha Hotel Juliet. In case you're wondering, in case that you forgot my call sign, that's what it is. <laughs> and here we go. Here is the information about my license. Let's go ahead and click on my name. And it says, hey, I'm an active license and my PO box is right here. Um, if you don't want your address shown up in the URLs, I did a video on how to hide that, like I did. Um, link in the description below. The other important information that we are going to want from here is the expiration date. It's going to expire February 14th of this year. Woo! That That's in like 10 days. Yikes. I let this uh, get really, really close. And finally, the important thing here is also the FRN number. This number is your number that the FCC gives you and assigned to you. So you don't have to use your social security number like we, they did back in the old days. Sweet. I got that number. And let's go ahead and go back to the online system. And then we're going to click here, pay B. I know we got to pay. It's just not a renewal. It seems that also the FCC went to a new core system, which if you haven't created an account for the core system, you got to do that. Let me walk you through that process. Now this is goes into the FCC registration. Go ahead and click register, fill out this information. After you submitted the information, there's going to be an email that activates the account. You can't log into there until you activated the account with the email. Next, we're going to log in and associate the account to our FRN number. I'm in associate. Oh, right, right at the top. Associate username to an FRN number. Here's my FRN number. While Frank tries to remember his FRN credentials, let me tell you about this page. This page is where you can enter your FRN password or recover the account with the security question or Frank is about to find the password reset link. Oh, there's a forgot FRN password. Let's try that. I got to create the core account to try to recover my FRN number to reset my FRN password, I guess. Here we go. That now associated the FRN number to the account. I guess. Okay, so now I'm in a core and then update view FRN numbers list manage. Oh, under here. Manage over here is uh, FRN finance. Now let me simplify this a little bit. The FCC core account is where you go to pay for your license, the new $35 fee. It's also where you can associate your FRN number to the account and also do the nice password reset. Next, let's go ahead and go to the FRN page so we can request a renewal. Then we're going to go back to the universal licensing system page, scroll down and click online filing. Put our FRN number in here and our FRN password. It's 12 characters. 12 characters makes it annoying. The site, when you successfully submit uh, search queries or things, it's slow. All right, now we are in the licensing manager. Nothing in core. It would be nice if it was in core because a lot of, I guess, corporate stuff is in core. And here we go. First link under my license, renew. Select license to renew. Boom, 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 continue, my information, continue, make sure it's still all correct. No, I'm not exempt. Here, I guess it's making you confirm. Continue, I'm not a felon. Here we go, total fee, $35. I certify I am myself, submit application. Total due, $35 and then continue to core payments to complete application. What? So you need to have the, you need to log into the FRN system to do the renewal process and then go into core 
to have it show up saying now there is a payment due of $35. Thanks FCC. For one of the branches that do make money for the government, this is the most convoluted system out there. I guess financials now? Ah, now my FRN number. Here it is. Payment due. Status not paid. If you're going to make a core system, integrate everything together. And I'm filling out credit card information. Clicky, clicky, clicky. I authorize payment and bam. Woo! It is paid. I should be good now. I'm thinking let's just hang out for a couple of days and we'll see uh, if I get an email saying I am renewed and we're going to be checking back the license uh, every couple of days just to see when that expiration finally updates. I'll let you know in a minute. It's been two days since I did the initial recording and filing. The next day I did get a email with the confirmation receipt and the day after that in the ULS I was updated. February 14th of 34. Whoa, that is way out there in the future. It's like it gave me another 10 years or something. I am looking forward to uh, maybe upgrading this go around. We'll see, we'll see. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all my supporters. My, you can support me over at Patreon. Patreon is a great place to support me, Tank Radio, and also Google memberships or YouTube memberships. Uh, links in the description below. And thank you for watching. Go forth and conquer.